Hey guys, so I just got my second box um, from Chocomize. Um, the day that I actually filmed that haul, I ended up placing an order for four more bars um, because another YouTuber had shared a coupon code with me for 15% off and it, hit, or it was going to expire that Saturday, which I wasn't going to be home, so I decided I needed more. Um, so I went ahead and placed the order. Um, they do have a Facebook page, so go ahead if you're interested and... Um, like their Facebook fan page because then they'll give they like share coupon codes on there I guess apparently because that's where that code came from. Um, anyway, so yeah, four more bars. Haven't opened it. I just got it, um, which is good because I'm almost done with my chocolatey chocolate bars. Um, I didn't eat these all myself. Um, I did bring them over to um, my aunt's house and had my cousins try it and all that stuff. So I'll do a quick like comparison between the two companies. Let you guys know kind of the differences between them. Which one I personally prefer um yeah so just to start off with like I said Chocomize is based in New Jersey so um I live in California so it it doesn't take as long to get to me as opposed to the Chocri because they are based in Germany I believe well somewhere in Europe and they actually ship from there so okay so this is what the inside of the box looks like there's a little like foil envelope in there to protect it so fingers crossed everything came you know in one piece so this is what it looks like Oops. big one this one's heavy <laughs> but i did only get four so i was like seriously i don't need more chocolate but apparently i needed four more All right, so yay okay so inside it looks like this my chocolate bars are in there my invoice Yep, I ordered um, three bars that I custom made, and then another I Feel Lucky bar, which is their surprise bar, which is only $3.99, um, and they get to surprise you with what's on it, so hopefully it's a good one, and then again, we packed it with an ice pack, which of course is no longer cold, but that's cool because these are reusable, so I already have another one of these in my freezer from my last order, and so far... They look good. Okay, um, this is the first bar that I got. Very cool. This one is, um, I named this one the Dynamite Bar, finally. Because remember last time I said that the names didn't make their way on it? Well, this one's the Dynamite Bar. That's me, Dynamite. Um, and on this one, I put milk chocolate with mini pretzels, real bacon, potato chips, and sea salt. This is very similar to the other one I bought, except I added the potato chips on this one. So, let me show you what that looks like. There you go. It looks like this one's fine. Didn't really melt. So, we're good. See, the only thing, like I mentioned before, like, there are only, like, four pretzels. I guess on this one, there's not a lot of room. And then I can see four potato chips, which I hope there's, like, crumbled up potato chips throughout the bar. Otherwise, I don't know. That's kind of sad. Because there's not a whole bunch of that on there. But um, the other bar that I did get had bacon in it as well. And that had tons of bacon all throughout the bar. So I was very pleased with that. So very nice. And I don't... Yeah, I, I can see the sea salt in there too. So this next one... Um, this is the one I made too. And this is... I named this one Gone Nutty. For a lack of a better word. Just because I put lots of nuts in this one. So this one has milk chocolate with hazelnuts, butter toasted peanuts, sliced almonds, crunchy almond cro croquant, croquant, I don't even know what the heck, I don't know how to pronounce that, do you guys know? Almond croquant, whatever, and mini marshmallows. I honestly don't remember putting peanuts on there. Did I really put peanuts on there? Apparently I did. I really don't remember, but I, I guess I put butter toasted peanuts on there, and that looks really yummy. That looks really good, actually. Let's see. The hazelnuts, butter toasted peanuts, sliced almonds, the crunchy almond cro croquant, croquant, I don't even know. If anybody knows how to pronounce that, go ahead and leave that comment down below. And then the mini marshmallows. So this one was eight forty, um, and then this first one was $7.05, and then this one um, was six ninety five. and I chose a white chocolate one so I could try what their white chocolate bar would taste like. And this one I named Hawaii Yum kind of a pun on Hawaiian, but it's Hawaii yum. I um, mean my puns, right? This one has white chocolate with pineapple dices, mango dices, and macadamia nuts. So that looks like it's yummy. 
see. Again, none of these melted, so I'm very pleased. So that's what that looks like. You can see this one has lots of toppings in there, like the pineapple slices. I'm assuming these are mango, the littler ones. Um, and then the macadamia nuts. So that looks good. Let me open the other one. Should I open this one? No. But you can kind of see through the window what that's going to look like already. But just so we can see, because I like to look at these. Very pretty. Lots and lots of nuts on there. And then the marshmallows. I like putting the marshmallows on there because, like my other bar, by the way, the one that I got before, the one that I was going to call Pop Rocky Road, was delicious, even though the Pop Rocks had, like, melted slash popped in the humidity. It was, it's tasted really, 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 really good. So I'm definitely going to be ordering that again when the weather cools down. It was really yummy. And then the marshmallows, like, after a while, they kind of get stale because they've been exposed to the air a little bit. But I like that. I like it when it fights with you. So... The last bar that I have is the I Feel Lucky bar. And this, the fir the last one that I got was milk chocolate and it had white chocolate little discs in it. This time, it's a much better one, I think. Um, so yeah, it says on the back, I Feel Lucky bar. So it doesn't tell you any of the ingredients or anything like that. Because um, it's a surprise. And this is the one that I got this time. So lots of toppings on this one. So I'm very pleased because the other one was kind of boring. Not too exciting. This was $3.95, so... This is definitely a good value um, when they put lots of different toppings on there, and it's a nice surprise too, because you because the base chocolates themselves are three ninety five. So, um, so this one's dark chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate, but I'm still gonna give this a try to see how it tastes. So it's nice because now I get to try the milk chocolate, which I love already, and the white chocolate, and now the dark. So it looks like this one has like Reese's pieces in it, maybe some. These might be malt balls, I think. And then it looks like, what is that, Heath Bar? Maybe? Because it looks like there's chocolate pieces and like maybe some coffee. It looks like Heath Bar. So it looks like a candy bar. Lots of different like chocolates in there. So maybe that'll be nice because it has the dark chocolate, which is kind of um, bitter. Hopefully it's not super, super bitter because I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate. But it has all the, like, the sweet candy on top. So hopefully it'll be a nice balance between the two. Um, so yeah, those are my four new bars from Chocomize. I'm really, really excited to eat them because I'm almost out of all my Chocomize stuff. So there's the I Feel Lucky bar. There's my Hawaii Yum bar with the white chocolate. And then my Gone Nutty bar and my Dynamite bar with potato chips and pretzels and bacon. So I'm very, very excited to try these out. Um, so just quickly with the Chocri, um... This was good, too. Um, I thought the white chocolate, this one, was really, really sweet. So I'm hoping that the white chocolate one that I got from Taco Mize isn't as sweet. But then again, white chocolate is notorious for being, like, super sweet. And I'm honestly not a huge white chocolate fan. Honestly, I just picked this because I thought it would look pretty, and it does. It looks really pretty with the berries on top of it. It's just a really nice contrast. Um, it still tastes good, but... Um, yeah, I probably won't be ordering white chocolate anymore just because it's it's really sweet and it's really not my favorite thing. Um, this milk chocolate one was better, I thought, than this one. I love nuts and chocolate. Um, however, I will say that the milk chocolate um, from Chocomize, I'm sorry, Chakri, has more cocoa in it. Like, um, the percentage of cacao in the Chakri versus the Chocomize is higher. So, this milk chocolate is a lot, um, the one from Chocomize is a lot sweeter than the one from Chocri, and personally, I prefer the milk chocolate from Chocomize. I just like how it tastes better, um, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's hard to compare the two because the toppings are so different. Um, what would be a true test would be to get the same exact bar from both sites, but, um, they don't all, they both, they don't both have the same exact toppings, um, but yeah, personally, with the wait time, and just the taste of the chocolate in general, I do prefer the Chocomize over the Chocri, just, you know, because that's what I like. If you like more of, like, a richer chocolate, definitely more chocolate in your chocolate, then I would go for the Chocri. Just, you can see on their websites, so the percentages are higher for, for Chocri. So, um... I'll definitely give the white chocolate from Chocomize a try, and I'll let you guys know how that compares to the Chakri's white chocolate. Um, but overall, I highly recommend, if you're a milk chocolate fan, 
milk chocolate from from both these places are really good. I personally prefer the Chocomize. Um, so yeah, I'm very very happy with um, my order so far. I have plenty of chocolate to last me for a really long time. Um, hopefully, I won't be tempted to order any more. But when I watch hauls. Um, I had someone post a haul yesterday, and I watched it. She had done a Chocomize haul, too, and that made me really hungry. And I went on the site, of course, and tried to create new bars. But I think I'm going to hold off for a little bit until I finish these off, at least. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you guys have ordered. A lot of you on my last video said that you ordered from Chocomize as well. Let me know what your experiences are. If you guys did a haul, I would love to see a video response from you guys. Um, but, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're doing well. St staying cool. It's been really hot lately, so... Alright, take care. Bye, guys.